there, welcome to Bite Size Piano. In this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to play the piano accompaniment chords part on the piano to Heather by Conan Gray. So this has been requested quite a bit. So it's the same chord progression the whole way through the song. So just as you heard in the preview, I will sing each section, but it is going to be very repetitious. So this one is in the key of F major. So on the screen now, are all the notes of the scale of F major. So it's important to note the scale and what key you're in, just so we know which notes we're dealing with, so all the chords are formed using those notes. Here is middle C. So if you locate that pitch on your keyboard or piano, and we're mainly around the mid, slightly lower region of the piano, we do have some higher notes at the beginning, but the highest note will just be out of shot. But I'll tell you what they are. So I'll teach you the chord progression first. Well, I'll teach you the intro, because yeah, we have these high notes. I'm going to play in octaves. We've got Fs. So if you have the higher notes as, as well, you can play in octaves, you can play octaves, but if not, just play single notes. So we've got Fs, E, and then Cs, and then in with the first chord. So, fun fact, 3rd of December is actually my birthday, so it's pretty cool. <laughs> Let me know if you share the same birthday as well, but if you don't, when is your birthday? Let me know in the comments below. Carrying on with this chord progression then, so I've been very specific, as I usually try to be with the inversions of the chords, so in all but one of the chords, the top note is this A, so we're going to be forming the chords from the A downwards, uh, and I'm playing in fifths in my left hand. Obviously this is a guitar-driven, guitar-based song, so I think it's important that we fill out the sound of the piano to imitate the guitar in the left hand as well by playing it in fifths instead of just playing single notes. So in the left hand you'll have F and C, in the right hand we have second inversion of F major, so that's C, F and A. So you do that for four beats. One, two, three, four. So in terms of the pattern that I've decided to use, um, I think this is the best that we can do um, to imitate like the strumming pattern rhythm that's on the guitar in the song. So if I do that slowly, so I'm playing them all together first. So I'm going together and then play the right hand again and then I'm just playing my thumbs. Left thumb, right thumb, together, right chord, left thumb, right thumb. One, two and three and one, two and three and. some more notes or break up the chord like that. Um, you can make it as complicated or as simple as you want or you can keep it simple for the verses and play it slightly more elaborately rhythmically for the chorus. It's totally up to you but that's just um, an idea with what you could play. So now on to the next chord. Uh, in the right hand it's easy, you're just going to swap the F to an E. So this gives you first inversion of A minor and in the right hand we have E and E. Nope, we have A and D. So again, staying in fifths in the left hand, we'll do the same pattern. One, two, three, four, five. And then the next chord is D minor. So all you're gonna do from there is move your thumb into D. We have D, F, A. The left hand, you can come up to D and A. chord is B flat major 7 so your right hand carries on playing D F A but the left hand is gonna move to B flat and um, F so that's only for half the amount of time and then for the last chord your left hand stays in the B flat 5 because the right hand changed to B flat minor 
specifically again this inversion so you're going to slide your hands up and play d flat f and b flat and then pivot on the f come back down to the f major it starts again so i'll just play around a bit Again, this is the same thing all the way through. So I'm just gonna demonstrate the whole song and I'll let you know which section we're coming up to. Hi there, just quickly before we continue, if you are enjoying the video so far, please consider hitting that like button and say hi in the comments section below. If you're brand new here, please consider subscribing. You know where the button is and make sure to hit that notifications bell so you're notified every time I upload a new tutorial and you can be the first to learn. I've left a load of playlists in the description as well to get you started. I hope you enjoy the rest of the tutorial and let's continue. And then for the chorus, if you are able to stretch octaves, you could play octaves with the fifth in the middle in the left hand, if you wanted to. Why would you So you do that chord progression one more time and you kind of ad lib some O's and some wish I were Heather's. <laughs> Up a bit 
for the outro, um, you could play everything in Octave Higher. Why would you ever kiss me? I'm not even half as pretty. You gave her a sweater, it's just polyester. But you like her better. I wish I would. Or you could just play it where you were playing it if you don't have the higher octave. Why would you ever kiss me? I'm not even half as pretty You gave her a sweater It's just polyester But you like her better I wish I would So that's the end of the video I hope you enjoyed it and that it's useful. If you'd like to leave a piano tutorial request, you need to click on this video, which takes you through to my official request space. You do need to be subscribed. All requests are noted and considered. So I look forward to seeing you over there.